Hi, today we are going to talk about using TenJet. TenJet is a needle-like device developed by Hydrocision to treat lateral epicondylitis and other chronic tendinopathies. TenJet delivers a high-velocity jet of saline to preferentially debride and aspirate diseased tissue in a short amount of time. With TenJet, I am able to offer a minimally invasive solution to my patients utilizing this technique. It uses ultrasound imaging to guide the device to the diseased tissue, which we then debride so that the patients have resolution of their chronic tendon pain. I found in my practice that this is an incredibly valuable procedure that we can offer to patients. It improves their quality of life and restores function. Prior to the procedure, the patient is draped and prepped to disinfect the surgical site and create a surgical field. The procedure is performed under ultrasound guidance to visualize both the pathologic tissue as well as the positioning of the TenJet device. As you can see on ultrasound, I notice a small hypoechoic area that I will target with TenJet. To ensure that the patient has minimal discomfort during the procedure, I administer a local anesthetic. Using an 11 blade scalpel, I make a small stab incision down to create a pathway for the TenJet device. Once I have created a pathway, I guide the TenJet device towards the pathology while visualizing it under ultrasound. As you can see on ultrasound, the TenJet device going towards the disease tissue I have identified. I have placed the TenJet device at the extensor mass origin and depressed the foot pedal to start debriding the disease tissue from the site. On ultrasound, the white areas that you see are some of the artifact created by the saline jet cascading under the instrument, but the TenJet tip is very visible. I motion the device in a gentle pistoning motion forward and backwards or rotate the device to reach all of the pathology that is causing pain for the patient. After three to five minutes of debridement with TenJet, I scan the tendon again to confirm that I have reached all of the diseased pain-inducing tissue. Since the procedure is performed through a stab incision, there is no need for sutures. I place a Steri-Strip and a small gauze bandage over the incision, which is then covered with Tegaderm. As you can see, TenJet enables a quick and efficient method to perform a percutaneous tenotomy. In my practice, I instruct my patients to avoid any heavy lifting in the extremity until follow-up in the clinic. I do tell them that fine motor tasks and general passive movements are okay to perform. When I see the patient at one to two weeks post-operatively, then we typically decide to start an eccentric rehabilitation exercise program.